Greetings. This podcast will start a whole new series of podcasts, which includes my Timeline of United States History series. This series is a life, a timeline of events from Christopher Columbus to the Revolutionary War. Before I start, I would like to announce the beginning of one new podcast that I am beginning, the Indiana Timeless Tales series. Indiana Timeless Tales relates the history of Indiana from prehistory to modern times. Currently, there are six books in the series with another just about to enter publication status. These two podcasts join my original Indiana Places in History series, which I am continuing. And now back to the subject of this podcast. The Magna Carta was one of the first documents in which the concept of a li limited government appears. The Founding Fathers justified their Declaration of in uh, Independence in part based on this document. For the first time in English history, the barons forced a monarch to cede a portion of his power when they compelled King John to sign the Magna Carta on June the 15th, 1215. The Magna Carta inspired much of the revolutionary fervor for liberties that resulted in the American Revolution and the Constitution that followed. In 1209, Pope Innocent III had excommunicated King John over a dispute with Bishop of Canterbury. During this period, he also indulged in a disastrous war against the French. His fiscal policies resulted in excessive taxation exacted from the English barons. English barons had rebelled before. However, they always had a successor in, a successor in mind when they did. By a matter of coincidences, there was no clear successor available in 1215. The barons had wanted to overthrow John, but with no successor available, they settled on negotiating with the king. With an armed rebellion brewing, King John agreed to meet in a meadow near the Runnymede. Run At this meeting, the barons presented their grievances to the king. The king signed the document, called the Magna Carta, temporarily resolving the crisis. One segment of the Magna Carta, related in Latin as Great Charter, called for the creation of a committee of barons to oversee the king's suburbans of the charter. They would have the power to depose the king if they felt he had broken the agreement. King John objected to this clause and rebelled against it, prompting the first barons' war that did not end until King John died in 1216 during a siege. When the new king took power at adulthood, Henry III signed a shorter version of the charter that did not contain the article. The Magna Carta did not confer rights on the common people. It only gave rights to the baron. However, over time, the freedoms granted by the Charter expanded and became more important. The men that wrote the Constitution and the Bill of Rights in the aftermath of the American Revolution drew much of their inspiration from the Magna Carta, and thus a document signed by a beleaguered English king influences United States law today. These stories are part of the author's book, Colonial American History Stories, 1215 through 1664, which is part of the Timeline of the United States History series by Paul R. Wanning. Find out more about the colonial history of the United States by purchasing the book Colonial American History Stories, 1215 through 1664. The book is a timeline of events from Christopher Columbus to 1664. You can find it on my website, www.mossyfeetbooks.com, on the Timeline of United States History category. Just scroll down the categories, Click on the United States History Timeline series, and there you'll have it. There are links to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Google Play, and other online booksellers. You may choose to purchase the book in ebook or softbound versions. An audiobook version is available on Google Play. There will be nine. There'll be about nine more podcasts in this series covering different aspects of. At the conclusion of this series, I will compile the episodes into an audiobook. The audio audiobook will be available.